Hello knowledge seekers, this is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. Today we are going to discuss about water hammer, where it comes and how it can affect our work and sometimes it affects our daily life. This is a small video, just out of curiosity, if you heard this work, let us discuss what is water hammer. It is also known as hydraulic shock, it is a pressure surge or shock wave that occurs when a fluid, usually water, in motion is forced to stop or change direction suddenly. It commonly happens in pipelines when a valve closes abruptly or a pump is started or stopped quickly, causing a rapid pressure rise. So in our daily life, whenever we have a high pressure water line in our domestic use, in our house, let's say, if you try to close it very quickly, then there is a vibration coming at the closing point, which can directly put a pressure on the valve seat. So this is affecting the capability or the efficiency of the valve. Let us see what are the causes of water hammer. Valve closer, closing a valve too quickly creates a shock wave as water momentum is suddenly halted. This is one of the clause. Another is Pump operation, rapid starting or stopping of pumps causes abrupt changes in the flow rate and pressure which can cause also a water hammer. Trapped air, air pockets in the system can collapse or compress suddenly generating water hammer effects. Long piping system, the longer the pipeline, the greater the chance of pressure waves traveling back and forth. High flow velocities. Faster moving fluids have more kinetic energy which can amplify water hammer effects during sudden stops. What are the dangers of water hammer? Water hammer can cause significant damage to both piping system and equipment due to the intense pressure waves. Key dangers include pipe damage or rupture. The shock wave can exceed the design pressure of pipes leading to cracks, leaks or catastrophic bursts. Damage to valves and fittings. High pressure can also cause valves or joint and fittings to fail or deform. Pumps and equipment damage. Pumps and seals can experience excessive stress resulting in mechanical failures. Noise and vibration. This is the sign. The shock wave can cause sometimes loud banging noise which can indicate stress within the system. Then you need to be careful and you will try to protect your pipelines or the components. System downtime. Pipe failures and equipment damage caused by water hammer can disrupt operations and require costly repairs. Prevention of water hammer. To mitigate the effects of water hammer, slow valve operation. We need to use the valve slow, close slowly and also open slowly. Install air chambers or surge tanks. The device absorb the pressure shock and reduce the impact of the system. So air chambers or surge tank is a solution where the calculated water hammer effect is more. We can build air chamber or surge tanks. Use pressure relief valves. Relieve excess pressure to prevent damage. So this is also one of the process. We can install check valves, prevent reverse flow that can exacerbate water hammer. Control pump operation. Use soft starters or variable speed drives to gradually start or stop pumps. We can maintain the pipe systems, ensure air vents are working properly and eliminate trapped air pockets, which can also reduce water hammer. So guys, hope you learn something about the water hammer we can see in our domestic life but it can also affect the performance of your piping or pipeline system so this is an important term which we need to take care and of course the designer must take care while they're designing these things if you learn some interesting facts from my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel share it to your friends and hit the like button signing off for today Show me.